Hello? Martin. Yeah? Travis, what time is it? It's late afternoon. It took you a long time to answer. Oh, I was resting a bit. I don't get much sleep at night. You interrupted one of my nightmares. Sleep deprivation. You should go see a doctor. I know. By the way, what's going on? Why did you call? Do you remember Professor Eulenberg, working for MIT? Yes. Well, I think so. Sure you do. Eulenberg, the scientist. The Times described him as one of the best minds of the year. A while back, I read some interesting articles of his. He's been killed. How? He was shot three times in the chest. You're joking. Where was he? In his villa. We found him about an hour ago. Could you meet me here at his villa? I need to talk. Why? What's this all about, Travis? Martin, I'd rather you came here. Trust me. Ah, the address is 4 Purple Rose Street. The problem is, Diana's out, and my car is at the mechanics. I'm on my way. Sorry about this. I would send someone to pick you up, but... Uh, okay, I'll be here. See you later. See you later. Where the hell did I put the mechanics number? Diana? Diana? I don't think she's back yet. If I could only remember where I wrote the mechanic's number. There's ringing coming from the sofa. Hi, Java. Did Diana tell you what time she was coming back? Hey, can I go into your room? 
Do you remember where I put the mechanic's number? I must have written it somewhere. <laughs> Don't you think we should get a slightly better vacuum cleaner? <laughs> Java, I'm sure you've got the key to my wardrobe. Give it to me, please. It's urgent. I have to go. <laughs> You're on top form. You must be very pleased to have come second in the neighborhood man competition. <laughs> Thanks anyway, Java. Pity. A great piece of antique furniture for a key. And in my wardrobe, too. Hey, please. I need some privacy. Okay. I've stored the number. Hello? Yes. Yes, this is Martin Mister. Good morning, Professor Mister. I've called to see if my car is ready. Yes, it's ready. I was expecting to hear from you. I'll have it delivered. The boy's out test driving it. Fine. Thanks very much. Let me know how much it'll be. All right. See you later. Hey. It can't be Diana. She'd have opened the door with her keys. Must be the mechanic. Delivery service. My car's as good as new. The next time I see a strange cosmic phenomenon, I'd better stop avoiding phone boxes and such like. I'd better catch up with Travis. I'm late as usual.